So sometimes it is convenient to label the ordered pair as sine and then, oh, cosine, sorry, I did that backwards, as cosine and sine. Think about what comes first. Cosine C is before S alphabetically, just like X is before Y alphabetically, so cosine, sine. It is convenient to use a unit circle to find the trigonometric, trigonometric functions of quadrantal angles. Quadrantal angles. A quadrantal angle, quadrantal angle is an angle in standard position whose terminal side lies on an axis. The measure of a quadrantal angle is always a multiple of 90 degrees or pi over two radians. So let's look at this example here. You're gonna use a unit circle to evaluate the six, tr six trigonometric functions of theta equals 270 degrees. Draw a unit circle with the angle theta equals 270 in standard position. Then identify the point where the terminal side of theta intersects the circle. So we know that it starts here. 270, so remember this is 90, this is 180, therefore this is 270 degrees, remember this is 360. So the terminal side ends on this axis here. If we think about this, this point on the unit circle is x is zero and y is negative one. Y is negative one. So think about it. the radius is one there for any point on here will be one at some point. So this is zero, negative one. So remember, we could label this as cosine and sine, right? Cosine is zero, sine is negative one, or just remember which is x and which is y. So sine of theta is just y, so therefore sine of theta is, I'm gonna write as negative one over one for now. Cosine of theta is zero over one, or we can just say that zero, Tangent of theta is y over x. So therefore, that is negative one over zero. And remember, anything over zero is undefined. So again, I write these ratios in the beginning here to kind of help me out with my next one because I have to flip them over. That's the fastest way to do it. So cosecant of theta, that's just gonna be negative one. That doesn't change. Now, when I flip over secant of theta though, I'm gonna get one over zero, which means this point is undefined. Cotangent of theta, I will get zero over negative one. So therefore, this is actually zero. So notice that it helps me out when I write that, right? So, or you can memorize that if it's zero in the beginning, that once you do the reciprocal, it'll be undefined, and then, or if it's undefined, then it'll be zero next. But just understand what's happening mathematically with that when you do that. So go ahead and try these two examples. You have 180 degrees, then you have theta at four pi, and think about how do you do that? How many times does it rotate? Therefore, where does it stop? I do want you to draw um, the angles that are here, how much rotation is going, and then label the point that it stops at. So go ahead and pause the video right now and try this on your own. So we tried these out. These are the values you should get. These are the drawings or diagrams you should make with these. So this is four pi down here. Um, and then your sine, cosine, tangent, as well as the reciprocals. Um, so I'm hoping now you can try the homework. The next uh, video will be on unit circles and filling them out.